happy Monday to you. Happy April. This is Mandy. You know me. I do videos all the time. Um, super fun, very relaxing, and also energizing yoga flow today. So all you'll need is a mat. If you have around a yoga strap or if you just got like a little hand towel that would be lovely i also have blocks yoga blocks if you don't have yoga blocks that's okay just move to the best of your ability and don't worry about if your shape looks the same as my shape i think the most important thing to take away from this is breathe and be where you're at in this present moment so we only have 45 minutes to move through a whole sequence. So we're gonna get it started with the music right away. And then we'll make our way to our mat standing at the top. You're gonna to see me basically facing this direction. So a lot of profile, that way it's not confusing about what, where, where, am, I, where am I supposed to face? Let's not, let's not get confused about that. So if you'd like to use the playlist, great. If you don't, also great. You could do this on your own. You could listen to heavy metal and do it if you want. I can't judge. All right, so let's hit play on our playlist. Making sure it works before I make my way. Come on over to your mat. Step towards the top. Bring your feet uh, close. I would say bring your big toes to touch. And then you have a slight kind of triangular separation between your heels. Soften the knees, roll the shoulders down the back of the body, close your eyes and let your arms hang at your sides. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let that air out and close the lips here. Start to Allow the breath to slide in and filter out. As you begin to take a quick note of how you're feeling in this space here. What's going on with the shoulders, the jawline, brow line, facial muscles. See if you can start to soften maybe anything that you brought with you to your yoga space. Same goes with belly softening, allowing for the hips to kind of be in their own space, letting the natural curve of the spine occur. And then softening the knees, wiggling the toes. I've been doing this with my eyes closed. Some people don't feel comfortable with their eyes closed. So if you had your eyes open, that's absolutely okay. So let's take a deep breath in together this time. Let's add the arms, reaching the arms deep up and over the head. I still have my eyes closed. Exhale, let the arms slide back down to the sides. Two more times, preferably with a soft gaze or eyes completely closed. Just kind of imagine that, how it feels and looks in space. Exhaling the arms down. Let's go one more time. Deep breath in through the nose. Lift the ribs away from the hips. Exhale, slide the arms back down to the sides. Bring the palms to touch in front of the heart center. Bow your chin down toward your chest. Take a moment to reflect on your purpose. Let's take a deep breath in together to open our practice. Slip in a little more air at the top here. Drop the shoulders down and let the air out of the mouth. <sighs> Gently flutter the eyes open. And we're gonna start reaching the arms deep and up and over the head. Let's hook the thumbs and slide the biceps back. So I am kind of looking slightly down to pull the abdominals in, slight tuck of the tail and lean to the right. Just kind of feel the left side body begin to open and the right side body begin to close. Inhale your way through the center. 
Exhale, cactus the elbows and shine our energy up. And we'll do this again, reaching the arms up and over the head, opposite thumb will hook on top, drop the shoulders back down, shine the heart through, and we'll inhale over to our left side. Making sure we're staying even in the feet. Exhale your way back through the center and let's cactus the elbows. Good. Inhale, bring the hands back in front of the heart center and then we're gonna exhale and take a forward fold. So as you fold forward, you can soften your knees and start to bend. Really allow for the whole upper body to melt towards the floor. If you feel like you're losing your balance, you could always separate your feet a little bit more. I'm just gonna nod my head a little bit to the right and left, and up and down. And then I'm gonna place my right hand on the floor. This is where blocks might be helpful. So if you're really like tight or sticky, having a block there would be really beneficial. So maybe it's not a block today, maybe it's like a dog toy. That works, right? So I'm gonna take my right hand to my block, I'm gonna bend my right knee pretty significantly. Take my left hand to my sacrum, my flat back, my fused ball. And I'm gonna peel open to the left side of the space. Really let the head lean back. We're just taking our time here in the beginning before we start really moving through at a little faster pace. Return through the center. Maybe you do the same thing with the same type of piece of equipment on the other side. So I'm bending into the left knee. My right hand is going to hold the low back and I'm gonna twist open. Like I mentioned before, there's no wrong answer with your shape. So if you're not getting the deepest twist and it doesn't look like my twist, that's, that's actually good. That means it's yours. Come back through the center. Take that block, if you have it, off your mat. Place your hands in front of your feet, wider than your feet. So if your feet are, say, hip width apart, your hands are shoulder width apart, let's step it back to our high plank. Pause in your high plank, and I don't know if you can see this in film, but I'm gonna shift my body weight from my right side to my left side. Just kind of feel out how this feels on my wrists, my fingers. I'm gripping the mat with all four corners of both my hands. Let's go one more time to the right, one more time to the left. And then we'll shift our way back to our very first downward dog and pedal out the feet to stretch the lower leg limb. Nice and slow, just kind of examining how I'm feeling here, having some space and some compassion for slowing it down. From our downward facing dog, shift forward into all fours, hands and knees. And I'm gonna walk my hands underneath my shoulders. So if you notice that, great. You do that too if you want. I'm gonna to start to find that domed spine and let the air out. Inhale, lift the chest for cat or cow pose. This is cow. Exhale for your cat pose again. Let's go ahead and take it really deep. So my toes are untucked, I'm drawing the navel up and towards the sky, my ribs are closing down. Inhale, upward, lifting through the chest, lifting through the throat, lifting through the tailbone, pulling the navel in. Last cat pose here. And last cow. So if you've been breathing in and out, let's close the lips and start to find that exhale through the nose. We're gonna do all nasal breath from here on out. So let's go ahead and bring the hands a little closer to our knees and turn the palms so that they're face up. So for some of us being both hands at the same time is a little bit vulnerable. You could always bring your knees in a little tighter and just give those hands and wrists a nice little ring out. So I have a little cat pose here to support most of my weight on my shins rather than on my hands and I'll bring the wrists. Not the goal, right? Press your thumbs down. I'm just moving my body weight around to feel the pressure on the tops of the hands. 
Then I'm going to flip the palms once more and curl my toes underneath me, walk the hands a little further forward, shift up into a short downward dog. So you'll notice my hands and my feet are a little bit closer in distance here. My right hand is gonna wrap around the calf muscle of the left, and now we're gonna find a spinal twist. So I'm pressing the mat away from me really strongly with my left hand as my right arm is anchoring the outer thigh or outer calf in this instance. And I'm finding a deeper twist with the power of the arms help. Let's take it over to the other side. So I'm gonna go over, twist, and really lengthen. So you may have seen me kind of straighten that elbow. That was the goal, I wanted to do that. I want to keep it not locked though, so careful that you're not hyperextending or locking the elbow. Return through downward facing dog. Take the right leg now. We're going to lift it straight back. Flare the toes. Let's move that ankle around in space. So I'm just kind of circling my ankle and now I'm going to point my toes and flex my toes. And I don't know about you, but it's my standing leg that's starting to feel some type of way. So I'm gonna come forward and set the shin bone down on my right, and I'm gonna spin my left heel down, and I'm gonna kickstand my right toes a little bit off my mat, and then spiral the left arm up and over the side line of the body. I'm gonna lean my head back in space here to create a straight line from the crown of my head all the way through the side of my body to the edge of my heel. Let's just wring out that wrist while it's here in the air. And then we were going to return to our downward dog. So make your way back to that home base. Take a moment, readjust if you need to, and then we'll start to float the opposite foot. So my left leg is in the air now. My arms are straight and strong. I'm going to ankle circle around a bit. Draw the navel in, keep lifting that heel up nice and high, and now point and flex. When I'm pointing my toes, I'm kind of squeezing them together and then flexing and flaring them away, working the feet. Excellent. Now from here, shift forward, lower down to the knee, kickstand it out to the side, spin onto the whole foot of the right, and then let's spiral the left arm up and over the sideline of the body. So modified side plane. Right, and really kind of opening up through the whole right side body. Remember when we did that hooked thumb overhead? Now we're just doing this in a different plane. Good, let's ring out the wrist like we did on the other side. Now I am not perfect, right? You're gonna see me make mistakes throughout this flow. Catch them, do things that feel right for you. Sit out things that don't feel right. Go on your own adventure. Come back to down dog, and we're going to tiptoe our feet and our hands to meet right in the center of the mat. Heel toe the feet a little bit wider apart. Turn the toes slightly outward, and then we're going to start to bend into the knees. Good. My arms are going to fan open, and we're going to start to find a nice long spine in my low yogi squat. So what I'm aiming to do here is draw the shoulders down, find my steady gaze forward, and press into my feet evenly here. Malasana. Let's take another, another deep breath in. On the exhalation, start to take the hands back to the floor, lift the hips, and heel toe the feet, hip width once, ag once again. And now I'm gonna tuck my chin to my chest and roll my way to stand in the center of my mat. So once I'm here, I heel toe my feet together once more so that my big toes are touching and my heels are separated. So you can see what that looks like from the side view. Sweep the arms up and over the head and find chair pose. And it's all right if maybe my arms need to come out a little bit wider in my chair, but you should be able to try to see your toes beyond your knees. Draw the navel and sit a little bit lower here. Take an inhale, lift your gaze, lift your chest, sink your hips, and then exhale, fold your way forward. Plant your hands in alignment with your blocks, step your feet back to your downward facing dog. 
Okay, let's take a deep breath in and a loud sigh out. Look forward, bend your knees. Option to take a hop, I'm gonna walk to the top of my mat. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale to a flat back this time. So imagine you're a table. This is the table leg. This is the table top. You are keeping your back flat. Exhale to fold forward once more. Soften the knees, not the head again. Notice if we're holding tension in the jawline. And then from your hips, you can even take your hands to your hip creases. Rise your way up to stand. Inhale the arms over the head, look towards the sky. Pull the navel in, charge up the thighs, charge up the seat. Exhale, hands come in front of the heart. Good. Suri Namaskar A, we're going to break it down. Inhale the arms back up over the head. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands. Step your way back to a plank position. Lower the knees down. Shift the chest and lower down so that your chest lands right between the thumbs or somewhere near there. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Just slide your palms back a little bit. So you have this rolled up towel right in front of your chin here. We're not gonna grab it yet. I'm just telling you about it. Inhale, lift your way up into your very first cobra. And what I really wanna pay attention to in my cobra is that my shoulders are way up by my ears there. So I'm just, I, I know I came out of the pose there, but I think it's really important to see that spaciousness. I'm looking at less of a back bend and more of a shoulder plug there. Let's lower down to one side of the face, roll the shoulders back away from the mat here. I'm just gonna move this out of the way so you don't, you're not hindered by this viewpoint. And we're gonna find a little bit more charge in the pubic bone, a little more pressing into the feet. And then we're gonna slowly rise our way up, maybe a little higher this time. I'm looking at the towel. I could lift up a little bit more, but what I wanna be mindful of is I'm not jutting my chin forward. Lower back down. Onto the other side of the face, if you wouldn't mind, just to kind of notice here. There's a lot of back bending and chest opening in today's practice. So take your time. This is a slow flow, we're just gonna go slow. Come back through, and we're gonna find this last cobra and as I do that I'm really opening my heart I'm squeezing my seat to protect the low back curl the toes lift your way back to down dog we're gonna take three big breaths take the inhale and the exhale okay. one more time Look forward before you let the air out, bend the knees and then maybe take that hop to the top. If the hop was too much, steps are great. Inhale to your flat back. Again, looking for that space between ear and shoulder. Exhale to fold. Now stay here. Good. Take your towel with you. Bring your hands to your towel. Bring it to your hip crease and rise your way up. Inhale, reach the arms over the head. Exhale, lean over to your right. So now I've got this towel here. I'm pulling it apart with my hands. Inhale through the center. Exhale, cactus the elbows. Maybe that towel comes behind the crown of the head. Maybe today it comes in front of the heart. Whatever feels good to you. Inhale that towel back up overhead. Exhale, find your lean over to the left. Stamp down through those feet even. Inhale through the center. Bring that towel down into that cactus or goal post. Exhale. Good. Inhale the towel up and over the head. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the towel. Place the hands. Now, instead of chaturanga, we're going to step it back. We're going to, again, break down this idea. Shift the body weight forward, lower the knees down, untuck the toes. Lower down the chest, and then slide the palms back. 
lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders together, and maybe I lift off the thighs. Maybe I don't. That's fine too. But notice there's a straight line from my palm to my shoulders here. Exhale, curl over the toes. This is part of the footwork. I have to curl over those toes. Now spread your toes out and plant them firm on the mat. Take your inhale and take your exhale. Look forward on the inhale. On the exhale, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop to the top. Inhale to your flat back, hands at shins. Exhale to fold your way forward. Inhale, rise your way up from the hips, reach the arms over the head. Exhale, slide the hands in front of the heart. Last one, and then we're moving on from here. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, separate the arms and lead with the chest towards the floor. Take the hands to frame the toes. Bend the knees, look forward a little bit and start to shoot the legs back, land and untuck the toes into that same position of up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Okay, great news. We are moving on from here. Take an inhale, lift your right leg up, bend your right knee, tip your hip open. So I'm aiming that right knee out to the right side of the space. Keep the left arm straight and strong, however. Notice, are you pressing down through your thumb and index on the left? Check in. Take your left knee, excuse me, right knee, to your right tricep, over to the right, good. Then I'm gonna set that knee on the floor right behind that hand. Kickstand that leg out, walk the hand to hand print forward. This time I find my side plank, but the leg is lifted. I'm gonna to start to bend my knee behind me, reach back with my left hand and catch the top of the foot to find a little back bend like I was just in, in my upward dog. Draw the navel in, push the foot into the hand. We'll see this shape again in a different orientation. Release that foot, come back to all fours. Take one big cow and one big cat. Now, walk the knees back, curl the toes underneath you, shift your way back to your down dog. Step your feet hip width apart because we're going right on over to the second side. So we're gonna to start to lift that left leg up, bend the left knee, tip the left hip open so that left kneecap is pointed towards the left side of the room. Straighten that left right arm. Now I bring my left knee to left tricep. Lots of abdominal here, lots of, lots of oblique. Set that knee down behind the wrist, walk the hand a little bit further forward, kickstand the leg out, spin off the right hand, right foot, and right hand, technically. And now I find this side plank, I'm really trying to stack my joints, shoulders and hips, I'm flexing through my foot that's lifted, I'm working that gluteal, and then I'm gonna start to bend the knee, catch the top of the foot, and send my chest cavity towards the screen. Nice, relax the neck and jawline, looking straight ahead. Push the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Slowly release that, return to hand and knee. We'll do one cat cow. Inhale to lift into cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Widen the knees, big toes touch. Shift your way back to a child's pose. Now in this instance, I'm lifting off of my wrists here to give my wrists a little relief because if they've been on, they've been dealing with my body weight, right? So this is just an opportunity to get a little bit of a rest there. If you can, maybe rest the forehead, but keep those elbows high. I'm feeling that extended child's pose, lats work. Maybe just rotate your chest over to the right and then maybe to the left. And this is not a big movement, so if you're going, man, I don't feel like I'm getting very far. Well, I, I'm not either. I might not even look like I'm moving it in the camera, but I am. Slide the hands back towards the knees and begin to roll your way up to that seated position. Okay, we're gonna move into a little low lunging. So if you have knee stuff, 
I do recommend maybe unraveling your towel or grabbing something a little bit more padded for the knee. Okay, so Anjane Asana or low lunge. I'm gonna bring my hands back to the ground and I'm gonna to start to take my right foot forward to help assist me there. So I've got the knees about hip width apart. I'm gonna curl my left toes slide my weight forward so my hips are driving towards the front of the mat space. My back toes are tucked and I'm hugging the inner thighs together. Then my arms are gonna reach up and over my head. Take an inhale, really lengthen the rib cage away from the hips, charge up your seat, exhale, find the twist towards the right. So my right knee is forward, I'm looking back towards my right palm. Beautiful. Option, start to lean your way back. Maybe I take that right free hand, wrap it around my back, and I reach the left arm up over the crown. I'm feeling a deep thigh stretch on my back leg. If I could, maybe I shift forward again, I'm gonna feel it deeper. Again, that knee is taking a lot of energy, so if that feels really uncomfortable, padding, padding, padding. Unwind return to the half kneel, lift off the back knee, step your back foot forward, bring your toes to touch, and grab your towel. It's gonna to go behind your back. We're gonna find half chair. So see how my belly rests along my thighs. I'm driving my arms back, trying to pull that towel apart. Now, we're gonna do this three times. I lower the towel towards my ankles, and I lift that towel up. I do not create any slack in the towel. So one more time, inhale to tap, exhale to lift. Release the towel back to the top of the mat and rise your way up to stand in mountain pose or Tadasana. Ta inhale, sweep the arms up, Exhale, fold your way forward. Place your hands and just step your feet back about halfway lower down to the knees. We're doing the other side right away. So now I'm gonna step my left foot forward in this half kneel 90-90 positioning. My hips are square to the front. And now I'm gonna to start to shift my body weight forward. My back toes are curled. That way I don't wing my hip out. I'm really trying to stay equal in all five of my back toes. Then in this low lunge, I start to find a deep stretch through the anterior chain. I'm feeling this all the way through the front body here. Hug in tight. If you're hypermobile like I am, it's really easy to get out of whack. Exhale, twist now to the other side. I'm looking back at my left fingertips as much as I can. I can see them. Take the shoulder away from the ear. Start to reach back, reach back, look back. Maybe I wrap that arm around like I did last time, on the other side rather. And then maybe I start to send those hips forward again. So again, I talked about this on the other side, but now you can actually see it. I'm really stretching the thigh group on my back leg. Good, unwind that half bind, place the hands, lift off your back knee and step your front or back foot forward to meet your front foot. We're gonna do this again, but it's gonna be a little more dynamic. Grab the towel, place it behind you, pull the towel apart, half chair. Your booty is nice and low. I'm gonna drop it down, lift it up and now bend and extend. Two more, drop it down, Lift it up, bend and extend, last one. This is a lot of shoulder, so if that's bending nonsense is not working for you, by all means, don't do it. Keep the towel, but rise your weight to stand up nice and tall. Back relief, really important, right? There's a lot happening in the spine with yoga, and like I was mentioning, I'm a little hypermobile, so it can be a little elusive to find the alignment portion. The towel is here to actually assist. So I'm gonna bring the towel out in front of me, shoulder width apart. Find balance in your left foot. Take your right foot, lift it up, and we're gonna wrap that towel around the right knee here. 
and then pull the towel back so that the elbows really start to latch to the outer edge of the rib cage. Nice. Now, challenge of balance. I'm gonna find my cow spine and my cat spine. This is my cat spine. And then this is my cow spine. Ooh, fancy. I should not have looked at you because now I lost my balance. Let's do it again. Three is the magic number. Round the spine, exhale, inhale, extending. Last one, rounding in. Ooh, this is tough. And extending open. Great, release the knee. Switch the sides. Single leg balance with some upper body work. Not easy, but worth it. So start to pour weight into the other foot. Find your steady focal point for me. It's my TRX, it's off the camera. I'm gonna start to lift that knee tight into my chest pull the towel, secure the elbows. Think of them as part of the scaffolding, flex the foot. I start to exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, cow spine. Two more times. I will tell you balancing on my right is forever a challenge for me after a car accident I had roughly 15 years ago. So it's still affecting me to this day. So let's take one more round of that cat pose. And last cow pose. And if you're like me and you're like, it's not happening right now, just take it. Release the towel. Step your feet together. Inhale, reach the arms up. Sink into the hips. Exhale, place the hands. Bend your knees, which they already are. Option to jump back. Flip over the toes, take your up dog, and then take your downward facing dog. Okay, right leg lifts up, right knee bends. Right knee comes to the right tricep, exhale. Inhale, set your right knee deep, kick it, stand out. Right hand comes out, left leg lifts. I catch the left foot, and I find my back bend. This we will see dancer pose, standing, so it'll be a balance challenge. Come back through, no cat cow. Step your way back to your down dog, and we'll go directly to the second side. Left leg will lift, left hip tips open, left knee, left tricep, set the knee down, spin off that right foot, Find your modified side plank. Kick stand that left leg as you grab for the right foot. Shine the heart forward. Find your back bend here. Beautiful. Release. Return. Come back through plank. Shift back to down dog. Bend your knees. Walk, step, or take your hop to the top. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale to your forward fold. Notice the chin and jawline here. Inhale, rise your way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, slide the hands in front of the heart. Good. Inhale, half chair pose. Pull the navel, reach the arms back. So we have this experience. Imagine that towel. You're pulling it apart. Your shoulders have a lot of space there. From your half chair, I'm gonna slowly lower down to my hips, reach the arms forward, land on my seat, catch the big toes with the peace fingers and find our boat pose. I have about, I would say two to four inches between my heels here. Lift my chest and I'm gonna to start to release my right hand from my right foot, release my left hand from my left foot, flare my toes and lower down to your half boat. Pulling the navel in, low belly secure, abs in tight. Just take it for another inhale. On the exhale, hug the knees and rest. That wasn't so bad. Okay, cross the ankles. It doesn't matter which ankle's crossed on the top. 
We're planning to rock our way up, shoot back into Chaturanga, or you can skip that and I can just go ahead and meet me standing at the top of the mat. So I'm going to cross the ankles, rock up, land my hands, shoot the legs back, bend the elbows, slide through my up dog, back to my down dog. Look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or take a gentle hop to the top. Big toes touch. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale to your fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, slide the hands in front of the heart. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Place the hands. Walk, step, or hop back. Your choice. You could skip it. Maybe I just want to lower the knees. Step my way back. Lower down to my chest. Lift up into my cobra. Either way, we're all meeting back into down dog. Okay, we're not doing the same thing, but we are do doing something to return to. So this is gonna seem familiar, there's a point to that. The right knee comes into the nose. Right knee comes into the nose, find your cat. Shift your weight forward so your hands and your shoulders are directly over each other. Now, I step my right foot between my thumbs, lower the left knee down. Ah, low lunge. Inhale, the, if you want, if you wanna get extra creative, you could grab your towel, but I think for right now I'm not going to. Inhale, the arms up. Lean into it. Really feel that stretch. Exhale for the twist. Inhale for the half bind. Exhale, place the hands to frame the foot. Step your way back to down dog. Side two, left leg lifts and tips. Now, left knee comes into the nose. I shift my weight forward. How close can I get it? Then I step that left foot between, lower down. Make sure you're not on a tightrope. I just caught myself, I was. Inhale the arms up, shift that hip forward. Exhale for the twist. Inhale for the half bind. Exhale, pinwheel the hands down. Good, from here, instead of going to down dog, step forward to the top of the mat, bring your feet hip width apart. Grab your towel, rise your weight to stand. So I talked to you a little bit about getting into this dancer pose, which was really the goal for the day. Last bit, we're going to go ahead and go for this single leg balance, which I know I've struggled with today. So if you get a little frustrated with me, just know I'm trying really hard not to be frustrated with me either. So life, right? So in this instance, I'm going to find weight in my left foot. I'm going to start to bring my right heel pretty close to my seat. Now, I can grab for my foot, but say, for example, I can't. I would use a strap or a towel to wrap around my foot and hold it with my hand, my right hand. My left hand is going to come back to my heart, and as I bend my left knee and kick my left foot, or my right foot back, my left arm reaches forward. So what I've done is I've lengthened my arm length using the towel. Now, if you're less interested in that, I've got my hand wrapped around the outer edge of my foot. There's a soft bend in my left knee, a little spring. You could even make it a little more dynamic if that's interesting. Let's see if we can hold this for another round of breath. Big inhale. Hold the navel, exhale, return, stamp down through that right foot. In my standing work, I like to get it done right away, just to kind of rip the band-aid off. If you wanted to take a quick chaturanga, come back to me at the top. Excellent. Find balance into the opposite foot for me. That's my right. I'm going to start to pick up my left foot, find my, my, my balance. So what am I looking at? What is my drishti? focal point. I'd start to take my left hand, grab for the top of my left foot. Again, belt, strap, or towel could be very helpful here. Hug the inner thighs together, shift the weight forward, kick the foot back as you reach back with, reach forward rather with your right hand. I played with this little bend and extend of the knee on my left. 
So far, so good on my right. Try it again if we can. Let's hold for one more round of breath. See now always, right? And then we'll slowly return back to standing at the top. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, slide the hands in front of the heart. Good. Okay. Slowly, let's take a step back. I would say towards the center of the mat. I'm just going to play with this one arm balance. And then the rest of this is going to be nice and relaxing. So heel toe your feet out, I would say, towards the edges of your mat. Start to sink into that malasana, or wide yogi squat. Now for me, in this instance, I'm going to flip it so that the tops of my hands are touching and just give my hands a little ring out. It feels nice. And I'm not worried about my spine right now, but I would think about, you know, nodding or tilting the neck and keeping that spaciousness between earlobe and shoulder. Okay, so I told you to work on this arm balance, and that is true. So I take my hands pretty wide, I'd say shoulder width apart, and really spread the fingers out, rip your mat. Start to lift off of the heels, shift the body weight forward. I'm actually kind of looking towards the towel, and then I'm gonna to start to stack my knees towards my triceps and armpits and pick up really dome my back so i'm trying to find this cat spine but there's a lot at stake right i'm a little worried maybe that i'm going to just do a somersault forward i know it seems a little counterintuitive but think about looking forward because then if you see it maybe you won't right have i done it before yes i have in a class with people so don't worry, I've embarrassed myself so much. But you know, that's what why they call it a practice, not yoga perfection. So three's the magic number, let's try it one more time. Lift up, hug, hug, hug the belly, hug the belly up and in. Look forward, look forward. Slowly land, then go ahead and take a seat on your seat. I will face you for this one because I think it'll be nice. Bring your feet really wide apart. Take your hands behind you. Drop your knees over to the right and lift your chest. Look to the left shoulder. And then drop your knees over to the left. Lift your chest. So there's this like nice little back bendy thing happening, but also a nice hip twist. Who knew? Let's do it one more time, both sides. Hang out, really feel that front side of the shoulder stretch. Yoga has a lot of push motion, like that chaturanga push-up situation. So it's just nice to kind of counterbalance it. Come back through neutral and go ahead and lie down. Grab your towel here. Lie down, grab your towel, hug your knees into your chest, having the towel atop your shins, and just give your hips a little circle around in one direction. Reverse that circle. Yeah. One more time. And then we're going to take the towel or strap, whatever, to the bottom of the right foot. Send the right foot to the sky. Flex that right foot. Flare your toes. You're going to hold the towel with just the right hand. Take your left hand to your left thigh and start to slide that left leg forward. Open up the right hip to the right side of the space. So I'm really anchoring through the hip of the left, left shoulder. I know it's hard to believe, but it's almost time. Bring the knee back in, undo your towel, cross the ankle, Grab for the foot and just kind of give your hip a little floss. I'm holding my knee and the edge of my heel. I'm just kind of moving my hip from right to left at a diagonal. Good. We're going to set that foot down. Grab the towel. Grab the towel and place it underneath your left foot. Now, right foot stays anchored on the floor. It feels really nice on my low back. You can always keep it here. And then the left foot... I did on the other side, I, go, I went ahead and straightened my right leg. That's a little less um, stable too. It feels a little bit shaky. So if you have a low back thing, I would say keep this leg flat or bent, bent. Okay, 
Go ahead and take it out to the side. So see, I can kind of use the knee weight over to the other side, then I feel more balanced. Otherwise, I have that leg straight. It's a little harder to find it. So your call, just opening up the inner thigh here. Return through the center and release that towel. Okay, we always want to end with something symmetrical, so I've got one thing, combination thing that we'll do. So bring your feet really close to hip width apart, snuggle the shoulders underneath you, last bit of chest stretch, last little bit of a back bend too. So we're gonna to start to lift off of the hips, slide the shoulders underneath, clasp the hands, send the knuckles towards the heels, lift the hips up. Notice the chest is chasing the chin, but the back of the neck stays long. So I'm not lifting my head, I'm actually doing the exact opposite. I'm trying to press the back of my head into the ground. Take another inhale. On the exhale, release the arms, slide the hips back down to the floor. And now we're gonna make our way to our last bit, which is rest. I personally enjoy a little butterfly stretch on my hips. So super passive, you could always use the blocks underneath your thighs to hold you. Cause this is gonna be for about a minute and a half, not super long, but it's nice to kind of close practice. So that said, close your eyes, place one hand on your heart, <clears throat> and one hand on your navel. Allow for your body to relax. So if you're in a position that it can't be relaxing, I would say bend the knees, tent the knees together, or bring the legs straight. <coughs> Close your eyes. And at the very top, hi. At the very top of our work today, I mentioned, I know what I'm teaching, I'm sorry. I mentioned taking your body scanner, I mentioned taking a little evaluation of how you were feeling from head to toe. We did that standing. So I invite you to, in these last moments, <laughs> take your head to toe scan. for your breath to be soft and natural, your belly to be soft, turn the corners of your mouth slightly up if you can and release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. If you're in any position with blocks underneath you, we'll start to remove those props. And if you've got anything in your way, remove that. And we'll start to take a big stretch. So slide the legs forward, reach the arms above the head, little arch of the spine. Feel free to yawn or open your eyes, your call. And you could just roll to either side of your body. Just take a moment, roll to one side. Just Kind of observe yourself in the space, feel the air on your skin, and we'll gently begin to press our weight up to a seat. So any seated position works. If you want to sit on a block, feel free. Bring your hands to your heart and gently bow your chin to your chest. Taking this final moment together, let's take a deep breath in. and a loud sigh out. Thank you so much for coming to practice with me and apparently Umi really wanted to join us the last, just during Shavasana, right? It was just while we were trying to rest. So it was perfect, perfect timing. Sarcasm. Um, okay, that's all she wrote. 
have such a wonderful week ahead. Happy spring to everyone. Questions get at me at ch in the chat. Um, and as you know, new video every week, so it, 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 at least one. So any requests, get them in and I will send them our way.